this site is a, this site is a good demonstration for injection because of the small area that's required to uh, treat. There's not enough soil surface down at the driveway area to apply a sufficient volume of drench with a systemic insecticide. So this is why we would use the ArborJet injection system to get the product directly into the tree. The first step is to drill an injection point in the tree. These are placed approximately four inches apart, uh, generally for every two inches of tree caliper. So in a tree that is uh, like this one, about 10 to 12 inches in caliper, would receive six injection points. After each injection point is open, a plastic plug with a one-way valve, a septum, uh, is installed into the injection hole. That will remain in the tree permanently, and over the course of time, the new bark of the tree will grow over it and seal the hole over the plug. You see one of the plugs going in right now. It's inserted with the tool just below the surface level. This is a small diameter plug with a yellow tip. A larger plug is available for use uh, on higher volume injections or where there can be fewer injection sites. The application is, in, is injected through a sealed system that pulls from a reservoir into a measured cylinder that's then injected into the tree under manual pressure. Each injection typically takes one to two injections per port to get the proper volume into the tree. Here's an example of a tall mature coconut palm heavily infested with the white fly. This palm is probably about 25 feet overall. And to treating all large palms, we use one injection point. And the reason for that is that palms have a large central vascular bundle that runs up and down the tree. They don't have the traditional rings like regular trees. So one injection point is putting all the product directly into the vascular system of the palm. Again, one injection point on the palm is all that's required to minimize any penetrations into the trunk and get the product directly into the central vascular system. When a palm is treated this way and in these weather conditions, we can expect the product to actually be at the canopy in the palm within a matter of days and start to see control within one to two weeks, sometimes much faster. Over the course of time, you will see less adult white flies mm -hmm. on the tree. Mm -hmm. Or flying around. Or flying around. Mm -hmm. Now, this is just like a vaccine. It's like you get a flu shot. Yeah. You can't stop people around you from being sick. Right. But you're protected. Yeah. So the adult white flies will still try and land on the tree. Yeah. Some of them will lay their eggs. Yeah. And they will But they won't be able to be established. Okay. As these different stages feed on the tree to tree, mm -hmm. they will die. And then okay. over time, those eggs are stuck on there with like a wax. Mm -hmm. They're very, very sticky. Okay. But over time, they'll fall off. All right. 
that may take a month or two before you start to see a huge difference. And quite honestly, mm -hmm. it may get worse before it gets better okay. because as they die, all right. all so that if I see it worse, it's not that it's, it's not. Right. If I feel it worse, it's because it's part of the what, what you're looking mm -hmm. for is the day-to-day is the -day homeowner yeah. is that sticky stuff Perfect. to stop. Which is the worst. When you yeah. see that reduce okay. and go away, then you know the control is working. Now, if I have trees like this, it's also infested how, and they're so yeah. close together, well, what happens? my boss, I'm going to ask him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to we're going to do those for you too. Great. Yeah, because otherwise I don't you know what I'm saying? They're like yeah. so close to each other. Well, yeah. but that is that is